Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today, we're actually going to be taking a look at three Corsair solid state drives, and you may wonder why. But I've got the 128, the 256, and the 512, and it's a new range from Corsair called the Force LX. Now, these have got some pretty aggressive pricing, and I do mean aggressive pricing. Now, I'm going to give you uh, GBP prices and USD prices. And I've got them written down over there in case you're wondering why, because I can't remember six of these prices. I know I will get them wrong. But for the 128, you're looking at £54 in the UK or £79.99 USD. And then uh, the 256, you're looking at £93 or $129. And then the 512 is £180 or $249. So really, when you think about it, it's near as damn it makes no difference, although it's even lower for the 128. But the 512 is less than 50 pence a gigabyte. Um, it's just, it, yeah, it's bonkers, bonkers mental. Now, either, you know, all of a sudden they've come into an abundance of ridiculously cheap RAM and it's not going to be perform really, really well at all, or have we got a bargain on our hands? Now, they actually, when, when tested, they actually um, get quicker as they get bigger as well, which is one of the reasons why I decided, rather than doing one, then the other, then the other, it actually makes more sense to talk about them all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in for a close look of the drives themselves, although it is just a very nice aluminium black um, brushed case, and it's seven millimetres thick, so it's good for a lot of laptops. But we're going to bring it, we're going to be testing it in the uh, motherboard test rig, I've still got the uh, Asus um, Maximus 7 Ranger in here. We've got a 49, for, sorry, a 4790K at stock, so it's just going to be running at 4.4 gigahertz because it sits at its turbo rate. And then we've got 2400 megahertz memory in there. So what we're going to be doing is just dropping it in. I've got the main system drive hidden off in the back section. We're going to be dropping each, set, each one of these in and then we'll be having a look at them. I've got some graphs to show you as well. Um, but like I said, remember that price, a 512 gigabyte solid state drive for 180 quid or $249. Have cheap solid state drives finally arrived? Okay, so we have all three down here on the keyboard and just as I kneel down and start hugging my tripod, it really is just a nice, simple, light, Aluminium, aluminium, black brushed case. Very, very light as well. But it's just simple and effective. I actually quite like the fact that they're black as well. One thing that I will say, and it's one thing that a lot of people say, is Corsair have got a habit of having um, their solid state drivers on show at the moment. But the stickers, always when you plug them in, are upside down. And uh, it's something that I, I've even personally asked in the past, Corsair, can I have some more stickers so that I can turn them around the right bloody way so that when they're, say for instance, like if this is where your mount is, it's like that, you can actually see the way it is. Um, and it was something that went up, because I post a lot of pictures up on Facebook. If you're not following the Tiny Tom Logan page on Facebook, you do miss out on a lot of stuff. But when I first post the picture of these nestled, in the rig with me showing off that I was going to be doing all three at once. Um, loads of people said, no, oh, stickers are always upside down on bloody solid state drives. So maybe Corsair, you can be brave and either let us put them on ourselves or maybe, possibly, maybe put them round the other way. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a look at some results. First off then, and I don't want to bombard you with graphs, but it's the easiest way for me to do it. You don't need to see a gazillion screenshots. Top three results, and this is the reason why I've done it this way as well, is if you have a look straight away, instantly, you can see that the write speeds are staggered. The read speeds are very, very similar, but the write speeds stagger up, and it actually does increment at about 150 meg. So the 128 is 150, you go up 150 meg to 300 right for the 256. You go up another 150 meg for the 512. 
So not only do you get increasing um, uh, storage capacities for your extra investment in your solid state drives, you actually get a much stronger write speed as well. So the 128 at 55 quid or $70 is a nice bargain basement, loads and loads of read, super snappy, but you've obviously, you're gonna restrict yourself on mental rights. The opposite end of the spectrum with the 512, you've got, you know, class leading, well not class leading, but up there with the best of them reads again, but you've also got some very, very strong rights, but coupled with an incredibly low price as well. It's almost a no-brainer. The Atto read and write um, performance pretty much mirrors the Crystal Disc Mark performance before, but don't forget you can click the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you can go to the Overclock 3D website and you can look at all of these results as well. We have done IOP results there with Anvil and all kinds of other stuff as well, so if you do want to go there and have a look, please do, because sometimes it's good to be able to get a lot more of a range, especially if you're considering about buying this stuff. But anyway, so we've got Anvil read and write, and you can see at the top in this graph, you can compare this with all, you know, with a lot of the other ones that we've done recently. Um, I, in our testing that we've got, maybe it's the fact that we're on a Z97 board, but we actually, <laughs> the testing that we've got is that uh, it's actually faster than the Neutron GTX, because we only got around the 500 meg out of that, and these are pumping out kind of like 555s and 560s. Um, so you've got a lot of good choice, you know, you've got a lot of good choices there, but obviously when you go to the right again, it's exactly the same results as we had before, 150, 300, 450. So that actually means that, you know, not only do you get, again, reiterating the point, you don't just get a larger capacity for your extra investment, you actually get a better write speed as well. Now I don't, I'm not going to profess to be like the biggest solid state drive nerd in the world and understand exactly why it does this. All I know is it does, and all I know is they're cheap. Okay then, so a blisteringly fast, lightning fast review today. We've obviously um, done some rev uh, results for you and stuff. I didn't bother filming all the screenshots because otherwise we would have had screenshot one, screenshot of another, screenshot of another, so just bung the graphs in. But uh, we'll talk about awards and then we will talk about everything else afterwards. So for the 128, value for money award for the 256 we will give it the value for money award as well but for the 512 we decided to give it the value for money award and the gold award and yes it's the rights on the two the 512 sorry aren't you know up there with um super screaming mega fast drives but when you compare or when you kind of think about everything as a package it's a 512 gig drive for 180 quid You've got uh, 560 megabyte writes, 450 megabyte, um, sorry, 400, 560 megabyte reads, 450, 460 megabyte writes. When you package all of that together, it is a bit of a billy bargain. I would be happy running that kind of drive in as like my main system rig. You know, if you're trying to, you want a, a bigger drive, but you haven't necessarily got a lot of money, that's an absolute belter. But at the same time, you could already have like a blisteringly fast um, set of drives in RAID 0 or, um, you know, what, what, another one that's like 500 plus writes or something. Maybe you're looking for a cheap storage drive to, you know, maybe just use for your Steam games. Technically, any of these could be an amazing little addition as, a, um, as your, um, uh, your Uplay or your Origin or, you know, something like that. A laptop upgrade there's so many kind of options that you can go with it and obviously like i said value for money value for money value for money and gold because when you get up to that point it kind of you, you know you you've the price increments up nicely to go with the storage but you you get more than just storage as extra if that makes any sense i hope it does anyway and i am really glad now because i've had the 128 and the 256 for a little while and when they said they were going to send a 512 i thought i'm going to wait i'm going to test them all together and i did think that we would do review 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 but we're going to put them all together because it's really nice to see those graphs notching up and it kind of i'm hoping that for you as the the possible purchaser you know the end user will be able to use that information as maybe um, it's not worth me scrimping and just getting that one. Maybe I should save a little bit more and say for argument, say bump yourself up from the 256 to the 512. 
because like I said, and I will say it again, not only do you get the extra storage, which you kind of, that's the bit that you pay for, but you almost get that extra write speed as a bonus. And let's face it, we all like a bit of extra speed in everywhere but the bedroom. Um, well, maybe most of us do. Anyway, so this is Tiny Tom Logan. This has been the Corsair Force LX Solid State Drive Roundup Review. I never do one of those normally. But anyway, it's been one of them reviews. Out! Ding! Remote. I'm just going to stop you now, all right? Yeah? Ding! Oh, <laughs>